Add or subtract the following expressions. Assume all variables are non-negative. 8 times the square root of 3a plus 4 times the fifth root of 3a minus 2 times the square root of 3a plus 17 times the fifth root of 3a. So again, there are some like radical terms here. All right, so here I have 8 times the square root of 3a and minus 2 times the square root of 3a. Those are like radical terms. So that would give me 6 times the square root of 3a. 4 times the fifth root of 3a, 17 times the fifth root of 3a. Again, those are like radical terms. So plus 21 times the fifth root of 3a. I cannot combine these further because they are not like radicals. They do not share the same index. So we would have to leave it alone. B. Fourth root of 32 m to the fifth n to the sixth plus the three times the fifth root of 2 m n squared minus 5 m n times the fourth root of 2 m n squared. This is messy. But let's see. I don't see any like radicals, but I can simplify this radical looking for perfect fourth factors. Uh, 32 is 16 times 2, so that's 2 to the fourth times 2 times m to the fourth times m times n to the fourth times n squared. So I'd have a fourth root of 2 to the fourth, m to the fourth, n to the fourth, and then I'd have a fourth root of 2 m n squared. So that would give me 2mn times the fourth root of 2mn squared plus 3 times the fifth root of 2mn squared minus 5mn times the fourth root of 2mn squared. These are like radicals and can be combined. So 2mn minus 5mn, negative 3mn times the fourth root of 2mn squared, and bringing down that other term, plus 3 times the fifth root of 2mn squared. And those are not like radicals because they do not share the same index.